Hi, this is Rich Harrington for Producing Video Podcast, and I'm here with David Dignan with Panopto, and they have a new turnkey solution that's really designed for the academic and corporate market to help you get video out there for presentations for audiences. So tell me a little bit more about it. Well, CourseCast essentially allows you to capture your presentations online or offline and distribute to your employees or students um, via a browser. And it wasn't really designed that the teachers had to all suddenly become video production wizards. No. No, we created the technology, Dr. William Shirless, uh, who sits on our board, created the technology primarily for the ability to capture his own lectures to, for his students to view uh, using commodity off-the-shelf hardware. Um, didn't doesn't require kind of proprietary uh, hardware or software to run it. It runs, runs in a Windows media file format. Um, you can capture it using uh, online or offline, using a webcam, using a high-end camera like an HD or DV camcorder device capture PowerPoint, screen captures, and then the students essentially view it uh, via any one of the major browsers, Explorer, Firefox, and or Safari. So it'll take any USB or FireWire-based camera? Correct. Okay. And then the end result is a Windows media file right now? Correct, yeah. It streams back in a Windows media file format, split screen video, uh, and then all the content that was captured in uh, the classroom or presentation whether it be a PowerPoint or whether it be a web tour or a Microsoft Office application. Students actually then can go back and search any area in the presentation uh, to view their notes or view an area that they may not have understood during the, uh, the actual lecture. And what makes this system different than some of the other tools out there in the market? What really sets it apart? A couple things. Um, we actually give it away free of charge to academic institutions. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. Um, and then we also sell a premium version of the product, a hosted version of it. What makes us different is we're using off-the-shelf hardware. So it runs, um, there's no kind of black box per se to capture, uh, archive, and stream your presentation back. We also have this concept of metadata that allows you to search the presentation and notes, take notes within the presentation, and then go back and review those notes as well. We also have the ability to edit the presentation on the fly. So the idea is to allow the presenter, the lecturer, to capture from their desktop in a formal uh, auditorium setting um, and go back and edit it out with a couple simple clicks as well. So it's a very simple, easy to use, scalable tool. And for outputs, besides doing Windows Media, is there anything keeping you from outputting to other formats or downloadable media types? So um, in the new version of the software, we're able to uh, output to an MP3 file as well, obviously audio only, and then longer term, we're looking at supporting essentially any other of the platforms as well. Uh, so MPEG-4 is on the horizon. It is, okay. yep, yep. Good. Excellent. Well, be sure to check it out. Where's the website that they can go to find out more uh, info? It's at panopto.com. That's uh, www.panopto. Dot com and uh, more information is available there. Good. If you're in an academic market, you can't beat free and a lot of the corporate space, yep. a nice turnkey solution, be sure to check it out. For producing video podcasts, I'm Rich Harrington.